Howdy. This is the second of two random reviews I'm doing, but this time all the figures are from the same line, specifically R.I.D. Firstly, Spy Changer Ironhide. This is a recolor of GoBots Ironhide from Generation 2, in a camouflage deco with a ball head logo on the hood. The vehicle itself is, as you can see, a pickup truck, and in general, it looks pretty good. It's cartoon accurate, and the farm vibe you get from it is nice. This comes with a gun that can actually store in the bed, something that can't be said for the other spy changers. Uh, unfortunately, I've lost that gun. Ironhide has the same transformation as most of the other spy changers, and thus shares many of their good and bad points. However, the only real good point is that it's fairly show accurate in terms of colours and mould details. But just like the others, the legs are essentially one piece. The only articulation is in the arms, and his chest sticks out far too much. In fact, from what I've seen, Ironhide's the worst in that regard. If you have his gun, it can fit into one of these fists here. He comes packaged with Spy Changer Mirage, who I damaged and lost a long time ago. On his own though, I'd only recommend him to fans of R.I.D. or the G2 GoBots. Next, Spy Changer Scourge. He actually came in a two-pack with Spy Changer x -Brawn, who I also damaged and lost a while back. That doesn't make me sound good, does it? Anyways, uh, this is a small representation of the super version of Scourge. And as with the other Spy Changers, it looks very nice in vehicle mode. It's a tanker truck, well, the cab section anyway. And it definitely looks like an evil Optimus with black, red, silver and teal as its colours. The truck is also great proportionately. The robot mode, however, also looks good. This one has the same transformation as the super version which makes it different from most of the other spy changers. It's got the same painted and moulded details as well as a very Prime-esque head sculpt. Unfortunately, just like the others, he has very limited articulation. Only his arms can move. Well, the head could look up, I suppose. On his own, I'd recommend it for fans who like this line especially, and given people's tendencies to sell incomplete sets or figures on eBay, it's not unlikely that this would be available on its own. Next, Armorhide, a recolor of Generation 1 Brawl. The tank mode looks good, but not quite cartoon accurate. Because instead of a desert camo, this one has a blue camo. In any event though, I think this one looks more interesting. The turret can turn a full 360. Unless, of course, you place this huge double barreled cannon at the rear here, which incidentally can pivot up or down. While we're here, Armorhide can turn into either an arm or a leg for his combined mode, Ruination. This, I believe, is his leg mode. And this, I think, is his arm mode. The robot mode definitely shows the toy's age, 
blocky proportions, limited poseability, though judging from the other basic combiners, he looks to be the best of the batch. He can't store his huge cannon here, but he can hold a smaller gun in one of these holes, except, yep, yeah, you guessed it, I lost that too. Come on, I've had these for like nine years now. Though I don't have most of the other pieces, I'd say he's worth picking up, mainly for ruination. Who I do have is... Rollbar, the recolor of Generation 1 Swindle. While these colors are show accurate and realistic for a Jeep, they're just kind of boring. Though I can't expect much else, really. The mold itself looks decent, though. He comes with two guns that can combine and attach to the rear section. You can position it however you like. Just like the other Combaticon repaints, he can form either an arm or a leg for ruination. While the robot mode has orange to break up that dull green, Rollbar's proportions are rather laughable, especially with his blocky legs, skinny arms and his pinhead. But he is a G1 mold after all. You can split the guns here and fit them into each of his hands. Though he has limited articulation, you can cheat and give him his transformation knees, though it doesn't serve much purpose. All in all, he appears to be the worst of the four basic combiners, and I don't recommend him that much, but you do need him for ruination. In general, most of these figures are recolors of very old molds and are pretty much for old-time or hardcore collectors. For younger collectors, stick with the modern stuff. Next, I'm finally looking at the Constructicon Legends, which will be a three-part review.